Every site has a variety of PLCs and third-party devices that all produce a ton of data, and getting that data into your DCS is critical for managing your operations. The challenge is integrating it all, and Delta V has a whole variety of ways to bring that data together, whether it's through serial protocols, through buses, or through Ethernet-based protocols like Modbus TCP, Ethernet IP, MMS, or OPC UA. With our Ethernet I.O. card, or EIOC, we can actually import the control tags directly from your ControlLogix PLC into Delta V. This eliminates a lot of the register mapping and potential for mistakes when you're bringing this data together. Of course, many PLCs are starting to reach end of life, and in those cases, you'd like to replace them with something more modern, like our new PK controller. The PK controller is our brand new controller. It's extremely powerful. It's fast enough for PLC applications, and it can be deployed either standalone or as part of a larger Delta V system, in which case you eliminate all that integration effort altogether. One of the PLC types that's reached its end of life is the PLC5 with its 1771 IO. Got a rack of it right here. Now replacing these can be quite a challenge because typically they're 120 volt AC signals. It's a lot of discrete, and you've got 16 channels on every card. So you have a lot of IO packed into one tight space becomes a challenge to figure out, you know, what devices are connected to that, uh, how much voltage do they have, how much current do they have, where are we gonna put the new IO, and most of all, how are we gonna cut this over quickly? We've got a great solution for dealing with that, and let me show you how it works. So on this rack, we've got all of the field wiring coming into the front, and it's terminated on these swing arms. So to cut this over, what we'll do is we'll just turn off power, and then we'll disconnect the wiring from the front of the I.O. cards. Then we can unplug and remove the PLC from the cabinet. The first part of our solution is a mounting panel. Now this panel mounts in the exact same screw holes. It has the exact same bolt pattern as the PLC rack that it's replacing, whether that's a four wide, an eight wide, a 12 wide or a 16 wide. On that rack, we have our standard Delta V high density IO cards, as well as our interface modules. Now the interface modules handle all the same signal types that you had on the PLC5, but they also accept the wiring on the front. Once we've mounted this panel in the cabinet to cut this over, all we have to do is reconnect the swing arms to the front of the interface modules. It was just flip in. You'll notice we didn't move the wires at all. They go back in the exact position they were in before the cutover. We know through experience that if you start moving those wires around, then the insulation can break off and tags can fall off and cause all sorts of problems. We left the labels accessible and readable. You can still access the terminals if you need to maintain or rewire or do anything else to the system. Once these swing arms are plugged in, we connect it to power, plug in our PK controller, and then we're ready to go.